It's not too much of a difference between indigenous people here, indigenous people over there. It's almost the same mindset. It's it's ninety percent the same mindset. You'll be surprised. Ninety percent. Mm. Because over there, like for example, I can't tell you. I can't remember the last time I seen a Nigerian woman wearing her hair natural or any West African woman. I can't tell you, bro. The most females I see wearing their hair natural is the so-called agatas. So I'm looking. I'm seeing. I'm, I'm looking at. Okay, so-called African Americans are more. Oh no, Indigenous Americans or Indigenous people here are more lenient towards the knowledge itself than Indigenous people over there, hmm. because most of us don't know where our tribe come from. You know. You know, it, it's funny because, uh, well, not funny, but uh, uh, interesting and curious that there was a guard that said that he had traveled over there and um, he said that on a Wednesday, they don't pray, or, or if they see a white man during the week, they feel like they don't they don't have to go to church because they feel like they saw God already. When Nigeria? I don't know. I don't know if it was Nigeria. He's somewhere. I gotta. I gotta look back where where it was. Peace. I'm just got a law from Pilon. It's my seed Pharaoh. Uh, just building with the gods. Up at the law school in Mecca about my travels in Ghana and uh, what I seen over there. And uh, there's useful land for the original man and us here in America. And we need to go over there and get it. Uh, the brothers and sisters over there are in the triple stages of darkness. Mm. And. Uh, they, they were told that the white man is God, so they need our help. Mm. Uh, I've heard stories from different brothers in different cities talking about how if they saw a uh, white man or woman on Sunday, they didn't have to go to church. Uh, and it just was jaw-dropping and profound. You see, that's what I'm talking about. And, and Africans are real, West Africans, not all of them. A lot of West Africans are notorious for kissing white people's asses, mm. especially when it comes to money people investing because a lot of money investing you look at Abuja, which is the richest country no i mean i'm sorry the capital of nigeria which is one of the richest cities in nigeria you have to be a multi-billionaire i mean multi-millionaire to live in Abuja, right there's american money invested there of course uh, 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 naira's invested euros invested in that country Abuja is more is worth more is is is, is more it's worth more than the Bronx. <laughs> it has to be. Look at the Bronx. I'm from the Bronx. And I'm not, and I'm not being African biased because I was born and raised in the Bronx. Okay? <laughs> but Abuja will not... You, certain cities in Nigeria will knock New York in general out the box. As far as image, as far as wealth. Name some of them. Abuja, Banana Island, which is connected to, to uh, Lagos. In the other cities, of uh, I'm for more familiar with Banana Island and Bujawa. Lagos, Lagos is just one big, dirty ass New York. It looks like New York, very dirty. You've been there. I've been to Lagos. Lagos is like is like one big hood. It's like it's like I mean a lot of stuff happens. You got your goods, you got your bags, you got your area boys. The area boys is the thugs out there. We call them the area boys. They'll stop. They, 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 they're the type of dudes. They'll stop a taxi and ask people for money in the taxi, or to ask the taxi driver for money. If not, if they don't give it up, there'll be a problem. <laughs> call them area boys. Sometimes they're nice. Sometimes it depends on who you deal with. You know, if you if you if you smoke trees, don't follow them to try to get trees. They might set you up. Stuff, same stuff that happens here, right, right. you know. Right. But um, but you got cities all over Africa in different regions that will knock New York out the box as far as image, wealth, will knock New York out the box. And a lot of us here think Africa is slummed out. All of Africa is slummed out. Nah, it's not. You'd be surprised. Look at Rwanda, in East Africa. Oh man, Rwanda is way cleaner than the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> Way clean. And I'm not shit on the Bronx. I'm from the Bronx, born and raised. Right. But it'll knock the Bronx, Brooklyn. You've been in Rwanda? Nah, I seen it on video. Okay. I seen 
Because Rwanda has a big history. They just came out of civil war. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. But it, I, I guess you got European money invested in them. Mm -hmm. But Rwanda looks beautiful, bro. It's not too many people. Less COVID-19 cases. Less deaths of COVID-19. It's beautiful, bro. The place is beautiful. You know? If Mega did this.